What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Jokey Jazzy Four here playing some Modern Warfare 2, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about the topic Call of Duty 4 versus Modern Warfare 2. For sure, this is an old school topic because uh, you know when these two games were still playable, and everybody was in them, like over a million people in each game. For sure, this topic was brought up several times. Which one was better, Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 4? Well. Since I played both games for the past two weeks already, I can say this. I think one can satisfy a certain amount of people and the other one can, can satisfy a certain amount of people. Now, as for Call of Duty 4, I see it as an MLG competitive base style game. I think if they want to compete for $1 million and legitly, this should bring the Call of Duty 4 concept back. They really, they really should. I mean, from what I saw, uh, Call of Duty 4 is really like organized like that for competitive style. I mean, just three kill streaks, fucking uh, no bullshit. Every single gun has their own thing, and uh, it will be interesting if they bring back that concept with the same engine, though. The same engine, the same kind of style, the weapons fire and everything. Call of Duty 4 could be a great competitive game. I don't understand why they, they, uh, you know, MLG or any kind of those competitive tournaments, you know, why don't they do Call of Duty 4 only competitive style gaming? I mean, you've seen Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and all those cars still doing their same thing over the years, and they haven't changed. But for tournaments, I mean, they had to plan the new Call of Duty, which kind of sucks. Because I would love to see, again, like, MLG going at it in Call of Duty 4, and, and every single year, who's the best in Call of Duty 4? And now we're going to be able to see some people, you know, really start stepping back into Call of Duty 4 just to challenge themselves. Because it's really challenging. Call of Duty 4 is challenging with, because you only have three kill streaks, the UAV, and, um, you know, not a lot of people have... Actually, there was no perk for Assassin, so you can't hide from the radar. The perks were okay. The, I mean, the perks were not a big deal. I mean, they were, like, perks for, like, competitive style. Alright, so that's what I think about Call of Duty 4. It is the best competitor style game for the Call of Duty series. As for Modern Warfare 2, now, the Modern Warfare 2 game can only satisfy the public. I mean, if you go to Call of Duty Ghost, look at what they took away just to satisfy the competitive gamers. They took away every single airstreak, no AC-130, no chopper gunner, no stealth bomber. Nothing, nothing from the sky. You only get a Loki and the other bullshit of a chopper. So think about it. They're trying to satisfy both groups of people, but it's not working. That's what we're seeing from Call of Duty Ghost. Now, Modern Warfare 2, they put every single bullshit in there. <laughs> you can call in a bunch of airstreaks, AC-130, chopper gun, the nuke, the fucking predator missile. What's the legit predator missile, by the way? Uh, the airstrike, precision airstrike, the uh, hover airstrike. I mean, you can, you can name them all, man. Uh, a lot of escort of uh, drop boxes, whatever care packages. I mean, it was just insane. You can do so much things here in Modern Warfare 2, but competitive-wise, I don't think it's good for competitiveness. But it's great for public because it's fun and it keeps it like, like it's really interesting. Like you can just keep on gaming in this place and you can just bring your friends over and goddamn, it will be fun for everyone. So this is what I'm thinking, guys. They should have done this since the beginning. They should have seen this. Call of Duty 4, it's only for competitive, com competitors, right? Like for MLG kind of style. Modern Warfare 2 for public. So they should have done this. Call of Duty 4 style kind of game. Modern Warfare 2 kind of game. And then Call of Duty 4 again. Like back and forth, switching back and forth. So that's why people can, you know, still be enjoying your game. But you're trying to mix it up. You like... It all started from Black Ops 2 with that freaking leak thing. And then it came over to Call of Duty Ghost where you try to satisfy both groups of people and now you gotta have the disaster of a game. You really do. So, that's how it should have been, guys. Call of Duty 4 kind of style game and then Modern Warfare 2 kind of style game so you can satisfy the public and then back to satisfying the competitor gaming and then back like that. Just switching back and forth, that should have done. That should have been done right like that. Man, I'm not even a freaking manager or developer or anything. I'm just giving ideas, and that's that sounds like a good idea. I mean, we all know why Call of Duty Ghost changed, like how it did, because competitive gamers complained so much about the previous one. It was not just the public. Competitive gamers are the ones giving their words, because they're the one making a lot of money for the for the game. 
I mean, they put them in X games. Of course, they're going to listen to the competitor. Like, oh, take away spy plane, take away this. So there will not be no bullshit. They're the, they're the ones to blame, not the public. So anyways, guys, that's my idea between these two games. Who won? Who's better than the other one? No one's better than the other one because they both satisfy different groups of people. So, subscribe for more, guys, for more classic gameplays. Yeah.